There are four types of mapping that you need to be aware of. One to one, many to one, one to many, and many to many. So if you consider a curve that looks like this, for example, it might be something like y is equal to x cubed, then if you draw a horizontal line across it, what you find is that regardless of where you draw that horizontal line, you will only hit the curve once. Okay? So there is one value of y corresponding to one value of x. So one to one. For many to one, you're thinking about drawing that horizontal line, okay? But you hit the curve several times. And so one such curve would be something like y is equal to sine x. Because if I draw a horizontal line, I'm going to hit the curve in two places in this case. But if you keep on going, it's going to hit it infinitely many times. Okay? So that means that for one value of y, there could have been many different x's. So, if you've got one to one and many to one, then there's one to many. Now, one to many, uh, the types of curves that we look at here can be quite strange. Here is one, for example. This would be one to many. This would be the curve x is equal to y squared. If you draw a vertical line this time, you can see that for choosing a value of x, you're getting two values of y in this case. And so one value of x is giving us many values of y. For many to many, we've already seen one example um, in the previous video. So it would be something like this. A circle. So that if we're looking at a horizontal line to start off with, a horizontal line will get you many values of x. Okay? And a vertical line would get you many values of y for each value of x. And so, because you're getting more than one uh, value of y for each x, and more than one value of x for each y, that is what we would consider as many to many. So, of these, only two of them are functions. The ones that are functions are the one to one and many to one. Because, if I put in one singular value of x, I get out one singular value of y. So I put in a value of x, and I get one value of y. I put in one value of x, and I get one value of y. If I'm over here, if I put in one value of x, I get two values of y. If I put in one value of x here, I get two values of y. Okay. So because a function is defined as getting having one input and only one output, these two cannot be functions. Okay? And it is these top two that give me the functions that we're used to and what we're used to dealing with.